going all Larry, Big Blue, and we are in Jessup, Maryland. <coughs> Excuse me, I just woke up. And we just got empty from Giant right there on the left hand. You are not allowed to record in that place. So I decided to start the video out so here. I am empty. It is noon. I had a six o'clock appointment. And I tried to check in an hour before my appointment. Yeah. Uh, a real brief description about it. it. Took me two hours and 18 minutes sitting out on that road right out in front of the place. Highway 32 is just maybe three quarters of miles back. As soon as it came out 30, 32, boom, stopped. All the trucks lined up. It took two hours and 18 minutes to get up to the up to the security. And then once there at the security sat there for, I don't know, 15 minutes. They made me sit there and then they told me I could pull over on the side of the driveway on the right and I had to wait for security to escort me to a parking spot. Then that happened and I sat in there for another hour or something like that and then they finally put me into a door and then there was an empty trailer, or a trailer that dropped in the door. So I had to call him. Then they had to call a yard guy over there. I had to wait for that. Finally got to, back to the door, and I finally got to go back to sleep. Ugh. That place is, oh, these tracks are rough. That place is just horrible. Just horrible. I hate going into that place. Just bad stuff. But we are actually heading, it's a nice smooth road here. We are actually heading to the TA truck stop here. And Big Blue needs some fuel. I'm gonna grab some fuel. And then I'm going to actually grab a shower. So I've been kind of doing baths out of the sink for a few days in a row now. It works. Uh, boss thought it was kind of weird. He's like, just drive to the pilot. Harrisburg or whatever, or Hagerstown. And I'm like, just take the pickup truck and run down there. And I'm like, nah, it's too much messing around. And so I just, um, I mean, I just tripped down right there in the shop and I just sit there. I got washcloths and a towel and everything. And I sit there and just use my shampoo and everything. Go to town. Towel off. I'm good to go. I do need to wash clothes though. I was gonna do that at the TA here, but I have to go pick up another load. I have to go pick up another load um, at the bakery place. And uh, I'm gonna be kind of tight on my appointment time. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I got to turn here. Oh, we're gonna be yellow light. Yellow light. Let's see if I can make this. Okay, guess that guy wants to pull up now. I believe the TA is right on the back side of this tower. My phone is doing it, but I can never trust my phone with the GPS, you know. Leads me into pretty bad places. I've been here before. Beeping noise. I think it's my inverter. 
gonna have to check that out. I really have been using a lot of electricity. Seems like it's not good. I got pretty good new batteries in here. Yeah, it's a TA right there. We're gonna get going by this guy here. He's not paying, he's not. This is all over the place. I'm trying to give this guy some room, but he's kind of scaring me. So that's the truck parking. I need fuel. So here we are, we gotta wait in line again. You know, it's that thing, it's that tang. Being here. Yeah, I think I hear my EPU beeping. I mean, I'm showing I got over oh, 14 and a half volts in my truck. I don't know what's going on. It seems like it's really been drawing my power down fast and stuff. My low voltage thing kicks into my truck. Well, guys, we are loaded up. Loaded up at the bakery. That's my kind of load. 14 minutes. I'm actually a little bit late because of uh, Giant this morning, kind of messed me up. I had to run and get fuel and stuff. Big Blue over there, there's TA and all that. I, grabbed, I was gonna grab a shot, I didn't care what anybody says. So I was a little bit late and, um, and uh, broker was after me and everything else. I came pulling in, the guy just jumped out the door. He's like, door four, door four. And uh, it loaded me up 14 minutes. They actually close in 12 minutes. <laughs> so, pretty fast. He was ready to go. But now we're gonna head to the yard. Um, I was going to be uh, working on the boss man dad's truck. Um, we were not able to get a dryer, an AC dryer, for his truck when I was uh, putting that compressor in. I had said something to the boss and he never got one and I just kind of went, okay, he's not going to do it. He's not going to replace that, which is kind of necessary. You should always do that. And I just put a little bit of coolant, you know, I put some coolant in. I didn't like go crazy on it and stuff because I just wanted a little bit cold. But I really wanted him to do the new dryer, get the system done right, and uh, so we've been planning that this and uh, the dryer came in. He actually brought it to me a couple days ago, Tuesday. He went and picked up all the parts he had ordered. The dryer was in, so it's sitting at the shop. So the plan was I was going to run to the yard, grab uh, Boss Man Dad's truck, run that over to the shop, and. Um, Put a new dryer in there and just go through his because I didn't really do any checking on his system. I didn't check for leaks or anything. I did I just shot some in there. It was a quick thing. And um, I want to hook everything up, do a really good pressure test on it. Make sure it's good, you know. And um because you need to you need to uh, vacuum it for like a half an hour. And you need to let it sit for another half an hour or 45 minutes, so you know. So, I just quick did a vacuum on it and then recharged it. I was in a very big hurry, but we'll get it in there. Um, the boss, the boss man, his dad uh, actually had to leave early, I guess. He wasn't supposed to leave till seven or eight tonight, but I guess on a load that he was on or something, he had to take off and to leave. I came driving past the yard and I saw his truck wasn't there and asked the boss. So that ain't gonna work. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is head to uh, the yard, drop this trailer, 
And then I think I'm going to uh, run back to the shop. And um, I think what I'm going to do is clean the shop because it's a disaster right now. I got tons of work on 792 left. But guys, I don't feel it. Too many days in a row, 14, 16, 18 hours. It's just, and then now today I deal with giant, not get any sleep. I just don't feel going back there and working and working. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little time off. I think what I'm gonna do is because uh, my AC clutch has been out on Big Blue here on my APU for a long time. It's been getting worse and worse and worse, and now it's it's shredded the belt that's on there. The APU doesn't even run at all. You turn it on and it just goes rock, rock, and the belt doesn't even work or nothing. The clutch is this junk. So I think I'm gonna replace the clutch. And then um, I think what I'm gonna do, I was talking to the inspector the other day and we were talking about how the Wi-Fi is so good at the office now. He just got he just got internet out there, and the Wi-Fi is like really good. And uh, the first comments out of her mouth were, "You've been killing zombies." <laughs> and my answer is no. I haven't even turned the thing on. I haven't even turned my PS4 on. It's sitting here in my truck. But I haven't even turned the thing on. I just, I just have not had time. And every time, you know, I'm done working for the day, I go out in the truck and and I lay, lay, lay there and I'm reading a manual for something or something, you know, figuring out, you know, something, you know, making sure technical things are being done correctly on whatever I'm working on or whatever. I'm sitting, I read that until I fall asleep and then watch a YouTube video or something and then off the bed I go and I get up five six hours later and back at it again so I think I'm gonna go back to the, the shop clean up install the AC clutch into mine put a new belt on it um, I think I need to do an oil change yeah I, I think I might do so I'll do an oil change and everything change all my filters and then I believe I'm just going to pull the truck right up by the shop so I can catch the Wi-Fi and... Play some zombies. That's what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys at the yard. Well guys, I'm back at the shop. I've been back here for a few hours. I don't know, about three, four hours. Just chilling, relaxing. I came in here and I basically just picked up all my tools. They were all scattered. I had this place kind of a mess last night. And um, I thought I'd show you guys this. I just got done installing this. this is, I did this for about the last hour, hour and a half, something like that. I actually bought this for my boss. I bought it yesterday and it was a gift for me to him. It's I called it a shop warming gift. But it's a steel cabinet. I picked it up at Lowe's. I think it was like 129 bucks, something like that. And uh, he was looking at some different cabinets, and I, and he was talking red to match the toolbox, blah 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 stuff. But then I saw this one, and uh, he's wanting me to paint some things and everything else. So we have to have painting supplies and stuff. And when you get into painting stuff, there's flammable stuff, so you kind of need a metal cabinet. It's got a magnet. It's kind of cool. But um. Got a few things, you know, going in. Um, this is the paint that actually uh, that was mixed up to match the T680s, and that's all the hardener and all that stuff, and then it's different primers and etching primers and stuff, and just different paints. Because when you fix something, hey, you put a you know rusty, put a coat of paint on it, and some acetone and stuff to clean the paint gun up. I bought a paint gun from Harbor Freight. It's right there. Got the filter and the regulator all sitting there. And then the stir sticks and stuff, and these are the mixing cups to mix up that other paint, you know, because it's got ratios, you got to do it at. And all different packets of sandpaper and sanding discs, sanding pad things. 
And then uh, I got a little bit of body filler, so fiberglass resin, a couple different cloths. I got it all set up. This is that 3M stuff that I used on this one bumper. I, you guys didn't get to see it. This stuff here actually is for, um, what it is is it's for um, bonding, um, composite metal bonding adhesive it says on it. This stuff is, is awesome stuff. Really works good. And it's got this special tip on it that you put on it. I don't know if you guys can see that in the package. But you screw that on there and when you, it's like a caulk gun and when, it's a special caulk gun. It costs $80 for the caulk gun. But uh, when you squeeze it, this, the liquid stuff comes all up through there and it's two parts and it all mixes all through this like honeycomb thing and it comes out the end. But that's, uh, I need that for fixing the hood. So I got to glue a piece of uh, the frame back to the fiberglass. And then I bought another one of these. This is that, um, that plastic repair stuff. Stuff is awesome. So, yep. It just reminds me, I got to go get that caulk gun and put that in there. This is that caulk gun right here. I think it was 80 bucks. It's special just for those. Um, yeah, it's two plungers and all that stuff. Works good. It, it really fixed up the bumper, so I'll be using it. So, grabbed a couple extra tubes. But, um, yeah, then all the stuff, I mean, acetone and, you know, some of the stuff in here, it's pretty flammable. So, you want to keep that stuff in a metal cabinet. So, if we got a lock on it, I'm thinking about just throwing away the key so nobody accidentally locks it and keeps the key. And I got some paint strainers that I got up there. But yeah, I've just been chilling and relaxing. And I'm actually about ready to head out of here. I'll show you that I was chilling and relaxing. I'll show you my boss's office, what I did to it. <laughs> I was actually playing. I brought in my PS4. And I was actually playing a zombies game. <laughs> you can see right there. Long haul Larry. So what I play on there is, yeah, I, play, I came in here, chilled out, sat in here and chugged my water and playing zombies, killing zombies to get over that giant fiasco this morning. Yeah, so it's all good. I just took a night off. I needed a night not being greasy and dirty and crawling around under trucks and stuff. I needed a night. My boss showed up and he was all like, what? And I said, taking a night off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like, you should go downtown and go out and stuff. And I'm like, I don't go out. I said, and I was building the cabinet when he stopped. <laughs> and he goes, uh, he just kind of looked at me and I says, this is what I enjoy doing, just sitting here. I, said, I just don't want to get all greasy and dirty and climbing around trucks. I need a night away from the trucks. And he's like, all right. <laughs> he left. But yeah. So I'm gonna let you guys go because I am actually I got big blue running out there. This one out there and fired up big blue. And I'm actually going to run back over to the yard, hook up to my trailer, and run to Costco tonight. And I'm gonna go check in. And it's pretty early, it just got dark. I'm gonna run over there and um, check in. I'm gonna back into the door, make something to eat, and I'm going Betty Bye. I'm gonna give me a full night's sleep. I need it. So I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, great night, as they're watching this here video. And if you're not, well, certainly just try that all over again tomorrow. I'll catch you guys later. See you.